All right, how you doing today? Really cool, Logic Pro 11.1 is out. A couple cool new features we're gonna take a look at. There's a bunch of new little features. We'll talk about those, but we're gonna go over some of the big ones here. Got a new reverb plugin. We can now do the plug search for your plugins. Really cool, you could actually add a bunch of plugins right from, from or a bunch of plugins to multiple channels all at once. So in the mixer window, we can also move our things around a lot easier. The, the bus sends, we can move the group things together and move them. We'll show, we'll show you that real quick. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, but you could send your mixes right to your voice memo app on your iPhone, which would be really cool. iPad or Apple Watch as well. Also, there's a new sound pack you could download. Modular Melodies, it looks like it's called. Hundreds of loops crafted, blah, 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 hardware synths, blah, blah, blah. Collection of uh, alchemy synth patches as well. So what else do you want? Leave it in the comments below for a wish list of Logic Pro features. Um, and let's just check this out. All right, so first up, we got this reverb here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm just looking at this for this first time. This popped up here about the inventor. inventor. Um, so this is basically a reverb based off uh, something. I never heard of it before. The Quantec Yardstick uh, 1997. I don't know. This just popped up on my screen as I was looking at some stuff. That's kind of wild. I didn't realize that. But anyways, this is the plugin. It's a Quantec Room Simulator. A couple different modes. I guess that's the yardstick mode there. Let's play some demos here. I have this on both the vocal and the piano. We'll just go through some presets here. Small rooms. So we got a freeze control, we got a clear control, we got an enhance, we got the room size, uh, we got the first reflections delay, first and reverb delay here, and then we have the secondary. So there are all kind of cool features on here. I'm not going to go into everything. This is just a quick overview of the new features on Logic Pro 11.1. Check out some warped rooms. So now also we can move these around in the mixer board. Uh, we could group these together, just hit shift, and then we can move them over to, oh, sorry, click and hold, and then just kind of groups them together and you move over there. And this works with auxiliary sounds too. We can move these around. Great for grouping things in different things. And we could also have these even separated. Let's hit shift here, whoops. So let's say we have these two selected, we just hold and they group together and then we can move them around. So very cool organization for your mixer. Okay, so now I've had I've been using a third party plugin for this called Plug Search. Now we can do it here. We just hit this is the plug search here where you hit control and it pops up your plugins. Now in Logic, we have a plug search right built in. So I want a waves plugin here. Um, and then I want the waves. It doesn't really matter for this, but CLA or something. And then we get our CLA echo space or whatever. It pops up. And then we can do echo sphere. My bad. Wrong, wrong name. But either way. And we could also do that from here. So say we have this um, grand piano here. We hit control, command, and P. And we get this, the plug search here. So we could do waves, waves tune. Let's say we're doing a vocal track or something. Let's collect that, bam, there we go. And we're up and running. And then we could do that in the mixer as well. And we can do multiple tracks at one time. So we want these three to have whatever plug in here, mix box, for example. And that adds it to all three of these and we have it there, empty mix box, but they're nonetheless a mix box. So pretty cool. All right, so let me know what you think. Let me know what could be added. I, I was not expecting a new reverb plugin. That's the last thing I was thinking of, but there it is. Uh, that's, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Leave your questions, comments down below, and I will talk to you soon.